only two months of the event, planning exactly when to visit HHN 31 can either make or break your experience. In today's video, we're going to be detailing the best times and days to visit to get the most out of your HHN trip. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel that takes you through the fog with another HHN video and this one all about the times to visit. Now, if you guys are new here to the channel, we post everything about HHN related, so be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified when we do post those upcoming videos leading to this year's HHN 31. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and move forward with today's video. Halloween Horror Nights this year runs on select nights from September 2nd through October 31st with 43 total event nights, with most of the event running from Wednesdays through Sundays. Now we will be breaking this video down into multiple sections. We'll be going over when is the best time of the month to visit based on your preferences, the best time of the week to visit for the lowest crowds, as well as when you should arrive at the park. So the first section we're gonna go ahead and break down is the best times of the month to visit based on your preference. Now for this section in particular, we're gonna to have to break down into two separate sections. And those two sections of course are gonna be the two months that HHN is running, September and October. And we're gonna go ahead and start with September. If you guys are looking for the smallest crowds, September out of the two months is gonna be the best choice for those smaller crowds. Now of course opening weekend is fairly busy, filled with a bunch of locals and diehard HHN fans like us, so if you're looking for those small crowds, we don't recommend going around any time in opening week. But the following weeks in September are typically going to be the slower ones with shorter lines. So if you are hoping to get through all of the houses in your trip without purchasing Express Pass, these are the weeks to go. Now let's move on to October. Now October does tend to be the busier of the two months with Halloween weekend seeing peak crowd levels. Now personally, we love October for HHN just because the scare actors have had plenty of time to really get in the groove with their scare and the Florida heat has started to settle down just a little bit. Plus the atmosphere in October is, is just a little different. I mean, it's it's Halloween, right? So October just feels right with HHN. However though, if you're planning to go in October and you want the smallest crowds possible, your best bet's to go in the beginning of October versus more the middle and the late last week of Halloween. Now we do recommend visiting in the last week of September as well as the first week in October just to get the best overall experience. In this case, the event has had a few weeks to work out the kinks and the scare actors have really gotten into the groove of finding out what scares works out for the event and we're getting closer to Halloween so it just feels more like HHN and the vibe that it's supposed to set off so that's why we recommend visiting in the last week of September and the first week of October or one or the other but also it's because you're not getting the worst crowds at the event which come in the mid to late October season. Moving on to the next section which is going to be the best time of the week to visit. Now we can break this section down into just crowd level because the experience that you'll get on a Wednesday typically won't be too different than that following Saturday, for example. So historically, the crowd levels by day are going to be exactly what you expect with Fridays and Saturdays being your busiest days and then Sundays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays being a little bit slower. However, we wanna put a big disclaimer here that this isn't necessarily what we experienced last year. Yeah, in 2021, we noticed that some of those Wednesdays were actually extremely packed. We're talking slammed, sold out nights, where some of those Saturdays that we expected to be very busy seemed like the slowest of the nights. Really, all of this is to say that you could plan your trip for a weekday in hopes that the crowds will be smaller, and they might be, but you could also show up and it'll be a busy night anyway. And this is why we always recommend Express Pass, especially if you're only visiting for one night or even a handful of nights, just to make sure that you are beating those crowds. We did recently do an Express Pass video for this year, so be sure to check that out. And with the Express Pass being mentioned, there are other ways to beat the crowds at HHN besides getting the Express Pass. However, we'll be doing videos of that in the near future, so make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys know when we do post those upcoming videos. Now back to our final section, which is when should you arrive at the event? 
Now, this shouldn't come as any surprise, but you should always arrive as early as possible. You may think that pulling into the parking garage 30 minutes early before the event starts will give you plenty of time to get there as the gates open, but you would likely be wrong. Parking alone can take up to 30 minutes on those busy nights. And then on top of that, you still have to go through security, which can have long lines, navigate your way all the way through city walk, and then make it to the front for the gates to open. On top of all of that, people do tend to start lining up three hours before the event starts at those gates. Because of this, we always recommend that you plan to get to the parking garage about an hour to two hours before the event kicks off. And finally, one of the best times to beat the crowds is actually the last hour of the event. A lot of people end up clearing out in that last hour or so, and the lines get really short. We've even been able to get through like two or three houses with little to no wait in that last hour using this strategy. So that's gonna do it for us in our best times to visit HHN 31. Now, if you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up for it does help us out as well as to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more HHN 31 content. But until that next video, we can't wait to see you guys then and catch you guys in the fog. Peace out guys. Bye.